Hey, so one of the first things you're going to notice in the events calendar and events calendar pro 3.0 is that modern drive has added a handful of new front end event views that allow your users to manipulate how the event data appears when they're viewing the calendar on the front end of your site. One of those, which I'm going to go over for the next couple minutes here is week view, which you're looking at here on this default 2012 install that I've got going on right now. Not a lot is here. All I have in terms of plugins are the events calendar and events calendar pro 3.0 betas. And like I said, the only theme is 2012. So this is about as basic as you're going to get. When we scroll down into the actual layout, it shows all events that are taking place during a week-long period from today, Monday the 1st, through Sunday the 7th. And it's worth noting that this is something you can change at any time as the site admin. You do not have to always live with having Monday be the day your calendar starts. If you want it to start on Sunday, like some people do, you have complete control over this. And in fact, it's not even an event-specific setting, it's an overall WordPress setting. To do so, come into your dashboard back here, go into Settings, General, and scroll down to the very bottom of the page. You'll see this week starts on section and you can just change this from Monday to whatever else you want from the drop down. I'm going to go to Sunday and I'm going to save changes. And when I go back and refresh the front end of the site, you're going to notice a couple things. One, the title tags are going to change. Right now they say events for week of Monday, April 1st, 2013. When I refresh that changes to events for week of Sunday, March 31st. And more importantly, this panel over on the furthest left hand side now shows Sunday the 31st instead of Monday the 1st. Likewise, over on the right, it shows Saturday the 6th instead of Sunday the 7th. Scrolling down into the overall calendar, you'll see we start with all day events. I have this fake music fest I set up here that's going to go two days, Wednesday to Thursday. Then I have an all day event that stands alone on Fridays. When you hover over it, it brings up the description and if you have a featured image attached to that, that'll show up as well. If you don't have a featured image, it's not a big deal. It's the site can still accommodate for it. Scrolling down below a little further, we get into the fixed hour range events. And it's worth noting that as we scroll down the page here, you're gonna notice there are two scroll bars. One, the overall browser scroll bar, and then another smaller one that's actually within the calendar itself. And as you scroll down using the calendar scroll bar, you'll notice that the all day events follow you with you down the page. So you can go down and look at events that are taking place at seven, eight, nine, ten at night, and the all day events will still be visible. As you scroll back up, they'll also remain fixed. When you look at your fixed hour range events, you'll notice that recurring events blend in seamlessly with standalone events. Half the events on the page here are recurring, the other half are standalone, and to the end user, there's really no way to tell the difference. Uh, and when events do overlap with one another, as you'll see with John's birthday party and Mike's birthday lunch here, it's extremely easy to tell when viewing them which is which. Right now I'm on John's, you'll see the pop-up comes up. When I'm looking at Mike's, his becomes the front more prominent one and the pop-up reflects his. You'll also notice that they don't have a featured image in both situations and the plugin is able to accommodate it. Down at the bottom, as you are come to expect, we have this next and previous week options and you can always import into iCal as you see fit as well. One more thing to note here that isn't specific to this view, it's specific to all our views, but I wanted to focus on it since it's going to be an option you have with 3.0, is you'll notice that when I go to my slash events page right now, it also is showing me week view. It's showing me essentially the exact same thing I would see if I went to slash events slash week. And the reason that's happening is because I have set week view as my default events view. If I come into events and go to the events settings here, you'll notice that under this display tab, when I scroll down to the default view, it's set as week. If I set this to anything else, week view would not be accessible via slash events. I would have to do the full slash events slash week. But since week is my default view, it works fine. If you're the type of person who wants to only allow your users to see events taking place in week view, not have grid view, not have day view, etc., available, you could totally do that. You're on the right path already. You would want to set the default view to week. And then on top of that, you would also want to disable these other event views. You'll notice right now all of them are enabled. If I wanted to only have week view accessible, well then I would turn off list, month, day, map, and photo so that only week view was left. I would save the page with default view set as week and we'd be good to go. That covers the week view preview. If you have any questions about this, feel free to let us know, pro at tri.be. We'll be following up with more of these view specific screencasts in the coming days. Thanks.